probably too late Hanging down with my head As autumn leaves We care for something I wanna know Oh hey internet, what are you doing? <laughs> What's up internet? Everybody's waiting for me to flood this tank. Me included. Today's your lucky day, because now is the day to flood this thing. And when we fill a tank, it's honestly more of an opportunity than most people think. Filling the tank for me is a perfect opportunity to glue some of the mosses in place and plant a lot of the plants that I find a lot easier to, you know, to plant like half full. A tank half full for me is a lot easier to plant than an empty tank. I know it's a little different than most people, but I like to fill it, or I like to plant with water in there. Mainly because I have the most experience planting and moving plants around with water in the tanks. You know, it's, it's normal for me. So uh, I find it a lot easier to have water fill in the tank. So that's what we're gonna do. Vesicularia montagniae. What a pain. That's a pain. Christmas moss. Christmas moss, first plant we have going in to the tank. We are gonna need a little bit of super glue for that one, because we're gonna take little portions and add them in by gluing them. That's, I find gluing to be the best thing. A lot of people use twine, stuff like that. I find that to be a big pain later on. A Little bit of glue, plants will grow on top of it, not a problem, holds them in place. Totally cool. We got a few other plants going in from my homies up at Dennerlay. You know, Dennerlay out of Germany. Uh, Rotella macandra. You guys can see me looking at it because I don't know which ones I got in my hand. Oh, scratch my face. It works good to scratch your nose if you got an itch. Uh, Rotella macandra. You guys know that I have a little bit in the 240. I have a little bit that popped up it's kind of out of the blue in there. Love it. Good little plant, definitely needs CO2 and will definitely grow tall. So that's gonna be going to the back of the plant, uh, back of the tank, the plant, plant to the back. Oh, is that plant gonna go in the back of the tank? Is it? Uh, we got some dwarf hair grass, otherwise known as Elocaris pusilla. Am I saying that right? Who knows? Uh, I almost always call it dwarf hair grass, so bear with me. Easy plant, grows, you know, grows pretty low, makes a carpet over time, so front of the tank. We also got some Alternanthera renekii mini, so this is the mini variety that actually is going to grow pretty low to the ground. That's going to start to fill in some of these little middle areas with a little more red. And we got some Hygrophylla. Lancia Araguaya. Is that correct? Did I say that right? Did I pronounce it correctly for you? Uh, it's a heart hygrophila, hygrophila Araguaya is what it's normally called uh, in the States. This is a nice medium height plant. I'm gonna go in the middle of the tank. These are the starting plants that we got going in to the 120 here just to kind of get it started. We got about five plants going to be going in. Uh, total, we're going to have about 12 different plants in here. This is definitely going to be a collectoritis kind of tank, just like the 150 right across from it. What's the long term plan with this tank? A lot of stuff you can see is pretty low and low slung to the tank. Now, there's a good reason for that. This is going to be a shrimp tank, and at some point in time, there may or may not be a schooling fish that goes in here. Uh, I might find something like some Brigitte rasboras or um, something real, real small along those lines, just to kind of accent the tank and leave the upper area uh, kind of a free swimming area. I don't want to clutter it with a bunch of rocks and things moving up, uh, but I do want to fill in the back with some tall plants and stuff like that. So uh, this will be kind of a low slung sort of a situation here. I think it's good to start a tank out that way. I know that this thing will eventually evolve. I'll lose my mind six months from now and start to change it. But for now, that's what we're gonna do because 
Yeah, realistically, it's what I want to do right now. So that's the fun. Going to be a shrimp tank. Going to be going to be pretty good, I think. I think it's going to be pretty good. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Let's turn on the water. I'd like to take note that I know our buddy, your buddy, my buddy, George Farmer, likes to use a red colander. I like to use an old paper bag. I don't know why. Maybe I should get a signature thing, right? At some point. <laughs> like a, like a, something I could wear as a helmet as I run about. Now, kind of the fun thing with these tissue cultured plants is that they come in these little clumps and you just kind of, you can either cut them with scissors or you can just kind of rip them apart. I opt for the ripping apart because then I can kind of feel where more of the individual plants are and stuff like that and kind of separate them the way that I want them if I'm using my hands instead of uh, scissors. High grow is planted. A couple loose pieces, not a big deal. Grab those. Luckily, it's not summertime, so this water is freaking ice cold. Alright. Next plant up. Rotala Macandra. Whoops. What's considered a difficult plant. I'm guessing this one I'm gonna cut. our next plant. Little hair grass. Helocarus Musilla. Now this one I actually will cut. Just gonna net out anything that's floating around. Not that big of an ordeal, because most of it'll get caught, um, picked up by the sump. But why not, why not take a couple seconds and get some of the floaters out? <laughs> well, I'm happy to say got the first of the two 120s finally up and running. You know, we had a baby, we had a bunch of other stuff going on. Hey, it took some time, but I'm happy to say I got it going. We still have a plant to put in there, the uh, Alternate Thera Renekii Mini, but we have a ton more plants going in here anyhow. This is basically just a setup video, and I hope you guys, uh, maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't learn anything, maybe it was entertaining, I don't know. Like. 
That could be cool, right? All right, later. Oh, I mean later?